So look guys, we're back in the shop this week. Um, really just wanting to take you through all of the Finn Commander stuff. So I know there's some, uh, there's some questions. Some of you don't know a whole lot about this brand or what it is, all that kind of good stuff. So we're, we're gonna go through it. One of the biggest questions we get asked all the time, it's like, I'm new to crappie fishing. What do I need? So we've tried to simplify that for you. Um, if you look on the website on www.fincommander.com, you will see two kits. It's a Godwin kit and a Martin kit. I'm here to tell you about the Godwin. Now see, that don't make much sense. No, I'm here to tell you about the Martin kit. So I put together just a little package of like basic things that to me will catch fish anywhere. And what's so cool is like on Godwin's, he did the same thing. So it's kind of cool to see the difference in opinion on what works. Um, you know, so what we did is we've got you four packages of baits, two packages of heads, and we give you this nice little box that comes with it. So that way you can start collecting, keeping your stuff, uh, keep it nice and separated. But I'm going to just go through what's in my pack, give you the reasons why, and then, you know, uh, we can we can always discuss anything further from there. But we're just going to keep it super simple for the sake of this video. The first thing that I put in the kit, in my kit, was the Finn Commander crappie magnet. It is a mermaid color, which is blue and chartreuse. So a lot of you have probably heard of it as blue grass or there's, you know, there's a hundred different names for it, but blue and chartreuse, why blue and chartreuse? To me, it works in clear water just as well as it does muddy water. So I wanted to give you something. If you're, if you're fighting water conditions or you don't really know what color water you got, if, you, if you're just getting to this and you're like, well, what's muddy versus what's clear? I know that's a, you know, that seems super easy, but if you're new to this, that can be an intimidating question because, you know, for us down here, we have very little clear water. It's either stained or muddy. We, we just don't have clear water. That's part of what happens when you're at the bottom of the hill. So all y'all's mud and stuff drains to us. All y'all with clear water up there, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault. No, I'm kidding. I'm not placing blame on anybody, but that is a great fish catcher. It's caught fish it'll stand the test of time it catches them year round um, any water condition it's a super small little subtle bait that crappie brim uh, even bass i mean any, let's put it this way anything that swims will eat these little baits uh, if you're bass fishing with it people call it finesse tackle if you're crappie fishing it's just crappie tackle and if you're you know brim fishing whatever it it, it is what it is the second thing i have in here are some curly tails. Now we have one called a slab curly, so it takes the body of our slab magnet and puts a curly tail on the end of it. Um, I love curly tails because I like either casting or trolling for crappie. Uh, I grew up with a 12 foot B&M jig pole in my hand and it's really fun to feel that thump on the end of the line, don't get me wrong. That's really fun, but as I've gotten older, my patience has gotten less. So I don't like sitting there holding two rods anymore. And I, I did the spider rigging thing for a while with eight rods out in front of you and I hated that. It, it only took, the last time I did it, I'll tell you a little quick story here. The last time I did it, me and my wife were spider rigging and a striper hybrid something hit this outside pole on the very outside and he decided he'd go straight across the boat. There were seven other rods in the way and he got every one of them tangled up. I cut everything off and said, I ain't doing that no more. I'm over it, I'm done with it. So um, that kind of stuff drives me crazy. But the slab curly, this one is Tennessee Shad. So this one is more for a clear water application. Um, it's, it's a very natural shad imitator. Looks like a shad, looks a lot like a shad. Um, so, but you need the water to be a little bit clearer for the fish to be able to see it and key in on it. So if you're fishing a little clear to a light stain, this guy works really well. Um, if it's super muddy, you're gonna wanna leave him at home because you're basically gonna have to hit him between the eyes to catch him with this color right here. So um, that's, a, that's a very small target and a very big body of water to hit one between the eyes. But in case your water does get muddy, I got you something else in a curly tail since I like casting. This one's called Midnight Flash. It's kind of a purple and blue and chartreuse. Uh, so it really pops. It's got the dark on the front. So if the water's muddy, the dark retains its color better than like a clear or transparent, translucent color. So having something dark, give them something to <clears throat> focus in on. The chartreuse tail will give that good green flash on the end. 
So it is a very good uh, dirty water color. Uh, will it work in clear? Yes, but it this this one's intention is for stain to muddy water. Uh, if you run into super clear again, we also have another bait in here for you called the Curly Critter. This is a, uh, it's called Show Nuff in, in our line. Uh, if you're more familiar with a lot of crappie people who don't change names of other brands, it's kind of like a monkey's milk. So the Curly Critter has little arms on it. When you reel it, the arms kind of fold up and if you pause it, they'll flare out. So it, it looks like a water bug essentially uh, is what it's trying to mimic. So um, again, I love casting. So. With that in mind, I also have two packages of fin spins in here for you. Both of them are 1 16th. I got you a pink one with a silver blade, which is more your clear, kind of clearer to light stained water. And then I have you a chartreuse one with a gold blade, again, for your dirty stain to, to muddy water. So I try to cover all your bases with just a little light selection. You try them out, figure out which ones you like, and then you expand your line from there. Uh, I'm not going to put together a kit that gives you everything we got because that can just be overwhelming. So I try to keep it simple and try to just give you something good to start with if you've never done this before. So hopefully you guys like this. I hope you get some, try it out. Let us know in the comments if you've already got one and let us know how it did. Uh, if you've already using the Fin Commander baits outside of this kit, let us know how they're doing. We wanna know, we wanna make stuff better for you guys. Drop us a comment, be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see y'all next time here on Fin Commander.